in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Reason interface. The version of Reason that I'm using is Reason 9, but the older versions of Reason have a similar interface. They will have a sequencer window and a rack window. The older versions of Reason list the devices that you can use. And of course, in Reason 9, there's a lot more devices. Now in Reason 9, you also have a mixer, which is another window that comes up and it looks like a general mixer on a large mixing board. So to get started, we can load an instrument by either dragging it in or we can go to create instrument and it'll give you the instrument that you want and you can double click on that instrument. And also in Reason 9, you can create an audio track. And if you look at the rack window, you'll see all these instruments that we loaded up, as well as the audio track. And whenever you see an arrow, you can always click on it and it'll open up more information. So there's no audio input on this track right here, but we can click on another arrow. And actually there's no audio inputs. This is another computer that I'm using. And also just to draw your attention at the top, whenever you're doing interface with other equipment, other software packages, you will be able to see your audio driver, what drivers you're using, whether you're using Reason as a slave or internal, and you'll be able to see how Reason is working with your interface in this hardware interface. So that's the other great thing about Reason. You can bring Reason inside of Logic and you can bring Reason inside of Pro Tools. Reason has a lot of flexibility. Now, if you're using an older version of Reason, you'll need to bring in your instruments one on top of the other. And you also need to watch where you bring in your effects. So for instance, if we're gonna create an instrument right below this one, I can select that instrument and you can see the highlights around it and you can bring an instrument underneath it. So bringing in a subtractor right underneath it. And if you're going to be using effects, so let's say for this instrument right here above, I highlighted it and I want to bring effects into that instrument. You will have to make sure that instrument is selected and go to the effects module that you want to use. Let's just do a basic equalizer. And then that effects module will only affect this one right above it. So that's sort of how Reason is set up. It stacks instruments on top of each other in a rack format, and the effect below each instrument will affect only that one instrument. And you'll be able to tell if you press tab, and it will toggle to the back of the instrument rack. And you'll see how this instrument here, the left and right outputs are going into the equalizer input. And the equalizer output is going into this mix track. And you can see it on the mixer. This is the instrument that we're working with, this disco kit, the redrum kit. And you'll see how it goes into the mix channel. Let's close the mixer. And if you want to get back to your original view, just press tab. And that's how you bring in instruments. That's how you bring in effects inside of Reason. Now, if you want to select an instrument inside of the instrument that you've created, you can go into the folder 
So let's go into the subtractor and it's already loaded up a bass guitar. But I can look inside the folder and find other instruments. Now, the other cool thing about Reason, if you just want to find an instrument, you can go into the list of instrument sounds and you can actually find the sound by the instrument that you're looking for. So if I'm looking for a brass, I can look in brass and wind and it'll have all of the instruments that I want to select and it'll automatically change the instrument into the one that, that I need. So if I wanted a fat brass sound, I just double click it and it already changed the instrument into the one that I needed. And that's how you call up instruments inside of Reason. Mm -hmm.